This year, 70,000 applied. But only a select few made the cut. Now they're going through 17 weeks of hardcore training. It's definitely not a walk in the park. <laughs> Everyday drills get them as close as possible to the real thing, especially here, Hogan's Alley, three city blocks, all a facade. From a fake pawn shop to a phony laundromat, and the suspects are actors. It brings the reality of what can happen if you make some of the wrong decisions. This day, it's an armed car robbery. You don't know, you know what's going to happen. You don't know what's coming around the corner, so you have to be able to make the split-second decision whether you should use deadly force or not. 29-year-old Brian knows the wrong decision in the real world could mean the wrong person ends up dead. He's one of about a thousand recruits who gave up their nine to five jobs to be a part of the country's top law enforcement team. We want people who you can't keep them from being successful. People like 25-year-old Jennifer, a former accountant from Portland. It's been like a seven year dream for me, but about a two year process. After an extensive background check, Jennifer got the chance to come here, the FBI Academy in Quantico, Virginia. We cover everything from street gang crime to the corporate boardroom. That's hard and it's scary, you know, it's a reality check. And you, you say, whoa, you know, I'm really gonna, you're really gonna do this, so you better be ready for it. Getting ready means intense discipline. Recruits, some who've never held a gun, spend weeks here, the FBI's new covered shooting range. In the indoor range, you learn basically how to get your line of sight, how to aim at a you know, standing target. From handguns to machine guns, recruits don't pass until their shot is right on target. All three of you slowly come down to your knees. Another part of a typical day, an entire class on how to properly handcuff a suspect. Of course, there's always inherent dangers involved, but this is ultimately safer as opposed to rushing right in. All day, the classes continue. Anybody seen a, a kilo of cocaine wrapped up like a brick? Recruits get a crash course in law, learn how to deal with evidence, and the best way to fingerprint. Back outside, things get physical. If you come up on a threat and you decide that it is a threat and you need to get out of there, you need to get out of there. You don't hesitate. At 45 miles an hour, agents have to be able to maneuver without using their brakes. And we got a chance to see what it's like. That's the worst thing you want to do. Defensive driving, practice chasing or being chased by a suspect. You cannot remain stationary. You have to make a decision. It may be the wrong decision, but you have to make a decision. It's all part of preparing these recruits for reality. And that is, within a few days of leaving this academy, you're in a situation where you're in a fight for your life or you're in a fight to save somebody else's life. Some are less than a month away. Jennifer most likely won't get stationed back in Portland, but says it's not the location that matters. You're here to um, do good things for the people around you. You know, we protect all citizens. Uh, whatever area you get in, you can make a difference in helping the public, helping society, helping the world.